This morning at the 2018 James Madison University Health Policy Summit, nearly 200 JMU students worked in interdisciplinary teams to formulate legislative solutions to the nation's opioid crisis. After two hours of working in groups of five to six students, each group displayed their solution on the walls. The students then judged each solution using a scoring rubric. The top three solutions with the highest scores were then presented by the groups to two guest judges, current state lawmaker, 26th District Delegate Tony Wilt, and former Virginia Lieutenant Governor, Bill Bowling. Group 4 came up with one of the top solutions. They proposed to tax one cent per one milligram of opioid products manufactured. Delegate Wilt and former Lieutenant Governor Bowling asked the students questions about their proposed solutions. The judges were also quick to point out things they liked and didn't like about the solutions. Delegate Wilt will not be recommending any of the student solutions to the General Assembly, but he did note how important it was for him to be at the summit and listen to and interact with the young people. But the level of, of knowledge that these students bring, uh, it's impressive. I, I, I like the idea that they come together. The thing that they've changed in the last couple of years is bringing several disciplines together. There's finance people here. Uh, it's not just all one, one group of interest. And that way there's, there's more perspective at each table. Uh, they, they would say, well, this is a good idea, but you have this person over say, well, yeah, okay, but how are you going to pay for it and how are you going to implement it and so forth. And so that, that brings a whole new level of, of uh, you know, interest on, on their part, you know, because I, I heard that as well. Yeah, we like, as students, we like having other people's ideas. We didn't have that before. And so it, it lends to, to the possibility of having, having wider solutions to the problems. Delegate Wilt said he is not aware of any proposed legislation on a state level that is in the works to tackle the opioid crisis, but that he and his fellow lawmakers are constantly looking for solutions to many problems. I don't have anything at this time, but I'll definitely be keeping my ears open and eyes open for any legislation. Uh, through the legislative process, it, it tends to, to come through our, in the, on the House side, the Health, Welfare, and Institutions Committee. And I know uh, sometimes we say, well, we're just there for six weeks or eight weeks. But actually, those committee members, we have, they have meetings, well, the committees that I'm on, we have meetings throughout the year and, and subcommittee meetings that, that uh, so we're always looking at those issues. And I know uh, all issues are important to someone, but this is one that's really affecting a lot of our families in Virginia. And I know that there are, are individuals there and groups at Richmond that continue to look at this ongoing and, and it's, um, the problem's not gonna go away and, and we continue to look for solutions. So I'm, I know that that's happening. While it is highly unlikely that any of the solutions from this year's summit will end up in Richmond, Augusta County Supervisor Marshall Patty, who is an associate professor at James Madison University, told me that in the past, legislators have taken elements from proposals that JMU students have came up with, and some have even ended up in the General Assembly for a vote. From the Festival Conference and Student Center Ballroom on the beautiful James Madison University campus, Theodore Whitelow, Breaking Through News.